It's the aviary. In the previous episode, we saw the moment when a Javan blue flycatcher hatched in the aviary. And shortly after the chick hatched, while the male guarded it, the mother bird immediately rushed to the bath to moisturize her body and feathers. The reason? Because even if the chick has hatched, the brood still has to incubate it to keep it moist for the next five days. Only after the chick turns seven days old, will she stop incubating it and let it sleep independently. Then, around the tenth day, the chick will begin to emerge from the nest to learn to fly. That time may seem short to us, but for the aviary keepers, and especially for the chick's parents, those 10 days will be tough. Because in those days, they had to protect it from other birds. In this video, we will see how the chick is doing for a week after hatching until we put a ring on its legs. On this second day, the brood is busy looking for caterpillars for the chick to eat. And after that, she is back incubating it while the male comes with food and feeds her. What a romantic couple. Not only that, but the male is also in charge of guarding the nest. Occasionally he will perch near the nest and monitor his surroundings. And this is when the female cleans her chick's feces and throws it out of the nest. How lucky he is. The male doesn't have to deal with the chick's droppings. This footage was taken from a small camera, so we don't disturb the flycatcher family. It's only the third day, but the chick has grown pin feathers. And, wow, it has grown this big too. And as usual, his parents are still diligently looking for food while the chick is fast asleep in the nest. Guys, today I want to see firsthand the baby Javan blue flycatcher on the fourth day since it hatched. We'll see it from surveillance cameras. So don't worry. We won't bother him. Look, the nest is over there. Oh, apparently, the brood is incubating it. These are the surveillance cameras, guys. We can see the conditions inside the hive in real time. We often check it because the nest is in a common area near the treehouse, where the birds often forage. By the way, I'm also working on getting the person who donated this pair of flycatchers, Rifki, to come here when we put the ring on the chick. Let's wait. Oh, look, it turns out that the male is also cleaning up the chick's droppings. As previously mentioned, their nests are in the treehouse area, where many birds roam foraging. Practically, other birds often disturb them, making the Javan blue flycatcher couple try extra hard to keep their only child safe. For example, this drongo. It tried to approach the nest several times. But each time, the male flycatcher chased it away. The seventh day finally arrived. It's time for us to put a ring on the chick's leg. It will be the first ringed Javan blue flycatcher from this aviary. Fortunately, Rifki, the person who donated a pair of Javan blue flycatchers was able to visit the aviary on this crucial day. He was the one standing in the middle, wearing an upside-down hat. 
However, apart from seeing the ring installation procession today, Rifki also brought a few more birds to be added to the aviary. And as soon as they are released, the birds go straight to the flycatcher's nest. The male flycatcher then chased and beat them. But that's only natural. That's his efforts to protect their territory and nest. Moreover, there is also a chick in the nest. But how do you react when you see the female Javan blue flycatcher being attacked by a Mandarian duck? Honestly, I was sad when I saw that. <laughs> but luckily, <laughs> Nurse Pio and Nurse Bogus were able to give her first aid. <laughs> okay. All right, let's see the baby bird. Initially, the bird's eggs were two, but one egg is missing somewhere. Incidents like that often happen in the wild, unlike in a solitary cage, where we can easily monitor it. Even in solitary cages, brooders sometimes eat their eggs. It happens when they lack nutritional intake. And to fulfill it, one way is to eat their own eggs. That's the case in a solitary cage. But in an aviary like this, bigger chances are the eggs were taken by predators or other birds. But are there many successful Javan blue flycatchers bred in aviaries, where they live with various birds? I think it's still infrequent. I didn't expect the Javan blue flycatcher to nest comfortably in this aviary. Because in the wild, they usually nest in quiet and damp forests or valleys, where people or animals rarely roam. It is even said that if we want to monitor a Javan blue flycatcher's nest in the wild, we have to climb a tree next to the nest. If we climb the tree where they nest, they will immediately move. So, you guys are great to be able to breed those birds here. Look, it's the male bird. He entered the nest. We've got some cameras installed, guys. But unfortunately, the moment he entered the nest was not caught on camera. Let's see the nest. Are you happy to see it? I'm so delighted. Come here, guys. We have to put the ring on the chicks now. It is about eight days old. Look at its feet. Chicks only a few days old can't be ringed because their legs are still not fully formed. It was only when their legs had started to get a bit long, when they were a week old, that they could be fitted with rings. We can put the ring on these chicks now. If we put it off, and those legs have grown long, we won't be able to do it anymore. Installation of the ring must be done at a particular time, when the chicks are 7, 8, to 10 days old. All right then, let's put a ring on it now. This is it, the ring brought by Rifki from Garut. There's De Hekim's aviary written on the ring, guys. Special ring for baby Javan blue flycatcher. Oh my god, it's so cute. Where do we want to put the ring? Right or left foot? Right foot. Before that, we oiled its feet with a special lubricant to make it easier to install the ring and not hurt the chicks. Meanwhile, its mom and dad are still watching from there, guys. Oh God, please make it easy for us to put the ring. Look, one of his fingers is pointing back, guys. It was like that, not because of the ring. 
Be careful. Its feet are still fragile. <laughs> Try holding it, earphone. Guys, <laughs> You hold it for a while, then put it back. Guys, here it is. The baby Javan blue flycatcher that hatched in the aviary. We call it Javan blue flycatcher 1. This is an achievement in itself for the team at the aviary. Rifki, thank you for your trust in us. Also, thanks to Kong Pio and Bogus. Once again, here comes the Javan blue flycatcher 1, which has just been ringed.